Hello everybody and welcome to another Worship Together Across the Diocese. My name's Carol and I work for the Board of Education and today my theme is music because on the 22nd of November we celebrate Saint Cecilia, the patron saint of church musicians. The Lord be with you and also with you. I think that music is really special because it can make us think about sad things or it can make us very happy or excited. Music can express all sorts of feelings. When we're happy, sometimes we feel like we just want to start singing. And when you're a little baby, your parents or grandparents might have sung lullabies to you to help you to get to sleep. We use music to tell stories. We use music almost every day as we go about our lives and we hear it in the background of our lives. Experts have realised the importance of music. Farmers sometimes play music as they milk their cows so that they stay calm and still. And music's played in shops and shopping centres in the hope that people will linger a bit longer and perhaps spend a bit more money. Can you hear this music in the background? How does it make you feel? I'm going to change the music now. What about this one? How does this one make you feel? Do you feel the same? or different with those two pieces of music. Why do you think that is? Just pause the video for a moment and have a chat with your neighbour. Most of us would find it a very sad world if there wasn't any music. There's lots of different kinds of music. There's pop music, classical music, hymns and songs, jazz, country, opera, all sorts of things. What's your favourite sort of music? Turn to your neighbour again and have a chat about that. Most people prefer one sort of music to another. We can listen to music or join in by making music ourselves. We might be lucky enough to be able to play a musical instrument. It takes years of practice to learn those skills. But if we, can, if we can't do that, then we can all make music with our voices. We can join in with percussion instruments or we can clap rhythms with our hands. We don't know much about Saint Cecilia. And most of what we do know is legend, so it might or might not be true. We know that she lived in the second or third century in Rome and was martyred rather than give up her faith. And it's said that she went up to heaven playing a harp and lots of pictures that you'll see of Saint Cecilia show her playing a harp on her way up to heaven. Another person that we celebrate this week is Isaac Watts, who was a great hymn writer and a poet. And you might sing some of the songs that he wrote they're, because they're still really popular in some of our churches. As a child, Isaac Watts loved to write poetry and he wrote this one using the first letters of his name, an acrostic poem. It's a bit difficult to read because it's in Old English, but you can see how he's used the letters that make up his name for the beginning of each line. So we've got I, so, although, assure, come, wash, and, then, that, and service, which spells out Isaac Watts. You could try writing a poem or a prayer using the first letters of your name. Have a chat with your neighbour now and see if you can think of a, of a two-line prayer using just the first letters of your first names, the two of you together. So my initial of my first name is a C. So I might say, come Lord Jesus, be with us. See what you can do. Pause the video for a moment and have a chat in pairs.
Did you come up with something between you? Did they follow on? I'm sure you had some brilliant ideas. There are lots of poems in the Bible, poems of praise or prayer, and they're in the book of Psalms. And one of those Psalms, Psalm 150, tells us of all the different ways and places in which we can praise God. And it ends with a huge shout of, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. God wants us all to praise him in whatever way we can, whether it's with our voices or whether it's with instruments or whether it's with what we do. God wants his praise from us. And so we're going to end our time together by saying a version of Psalm 150. The words are going to come up on the screen so you can join in. And as we say them together, just think of which of those ways you could use to praise God. Praise the Lord for composers and players. Praise the Lord with shakers and scrapers. Praise the Lord with drums and cymbals. Praise the Lord with guitars and violins. Praise the Lord with pianos and organs. Praise the Lord with flutes and clarinets. Praise the Lord with recorders and oboes. Praise the Lord with trumpets and trombones. Praise the Lord with tubers and cornets. Praise the Lord with our voices, high and low, soft and loud. Praise the Lord for singers and dancers. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. This week in Praying Together Across the Diocese, we're praying for all the schools in Blackpool Deanery. So if you're listening to this in Blackpool Deanery, then all the schools across the whole of Blackburn Diocese are praying for you today and for the rest of this week. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for all the teachers, all the staff and the pupils in all our schools in Blackpool Deanery. May, no, may they know your presence with them as they go about their daily duties. May their schools be a beacon of your presence shining out in the community. And may you bless them with your love and your joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, our blessing. May the God of creation, who gave us music to lighten and enliven and brighten our lives, be with you all, now and always. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that worship together today. And maybe you might like to go and look up something more about St Cecilia or have a look at some of the other psalms of praise. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.